Hello welcome in this short video let us look at how to determine the fundamental period of a sum of two complex exponentials so determine the sum of sorry determine the fundamental period fundamental period of sum of two discrete complex exponentials discrete complex exponential that is given the signal x of n defined as the sum e power j 2 pi by 3 into n plus e power j 3 pi by 4 into n. we can clearly see that both the components that is e power j 2 pi by 3 into n and this e power j 3 pi by 4 into n are periodic in themselves that is e power j 2 pi by 3 into n that is e power j 2 pi by 3 n is periodic why because this frequency that is 2 pi by 3 is basically a rational multiple of 2 pi that is it is 1 by 3 into 2 pi so it is a periodic signal now e power g sorry e power j 3 pi by 4 into n is also periodic why again because because this frequency 3 pi by 4 is nothing but 3 by 8 into 2 pi so it is a rational multiple of 2 pi so again the second component is also periodic now our, and then we can also find their respective periods but the question is what is their common period that is what is the period of x of n that is the question we want to answer so recall that for a signal to be periodic that is for a discrete complex exponential to be periodic the condition required is omega naught by 2 pi should be equal to m by capital n a rational number now for the first component e power j 2 pi by 3 into n obviously this condition is satisfied so this value that is omega naught is obviously equal to 2 pi by 3 therefore n is given by m times omega naught is 2 pi by 3 and then we have 2 pi so it becomes 2 pi by omega naught that is 2 pi by 2 pi by 3 so it is equal to 3 into m so n is obviously equal to 3 into m so the minimum so the minimum value possible for capital n is given by n small m is equal to 1 so therefore the fundamental value mm, n1 let us call it n1 is equal to 3 when m is equal to 1 that is the fundamental period of e power j 2 pi by 3 n is given by capital n1 is equal to 3 that is for the first component and the second one e power j 3 pi by 4 n then omega naught or it's omega 2 uh, this frequency is basically given by 3 pi by 4 so in that case n is equal to m times 2 pi by 3 pi by 4 so it must be equal to 8 by 3 m so n is equal to 8 by 3 m so the minimum value of m for which this n is an integer is given by n2 is equal to for m equal to 3 so it becomes 8 n2 is equal to 8 for m is equal to 3 so the fundamental period for the second component is given by 8 so the, for the first one it is 3 and the second one it is 8 so n1 is equal to 3 that means e power j 2 pi by 3 into n is equal to e power j 2 pi by 3 into n plus capital n1 or any multiple of n1 and similarly for n2 is equal to 8 for the second component e power j 3 pi by 4 into n is equal to e power j 3 pi by 4 into n plus capital n2 or any other multiple of n2 so these two signals have these two uh, uh, fundamental periods now we want to find the period of x of n that is fundamental period of x of n So to find the periodicity or the fundamental period of x of n that is a combined signal we have to look at the two signals that is two components for the first one we can clearly see that the period is given by 3 and the values will be equal at 0, 3, 6, 9 or any other multiple of 3 and for the second one uh, the fundamental period n2 is given by 8 so the values will be equal at 0, 8, 16 and 24 and when you look at both the signals that is their combination uh, the, uh, they have a common values at 0, 
24 and then any other multiple of 24 so obviously for x of n 24 will be the uh, new fundamental period and it is also uh, the lcm that is least common multiple of both n1 and n2 therefore x of n has fundamental period 24 that is for x of n n is equal to 24 that is any value at an x of uh, at any given value n and then x of n plus 24 or n plus 48 or any other, other multiple of 24 the signals will be equal so to summarize we have in this video we have looked at how to determine the fundamental period of a sum of two discrete complex exponentials specifically we have looked at the following combination that is e power j 2 pi by 3 n plus e power j 3 pi by 4 n the two components are periodic in themselves that is they are separately periodic we can easily look at their frequencies and then verify the condition so for example for the first one it is um, the frequency is equal to 2 pi by 3 and then n is equal to 3m and the fundamental frequency is 3 and then similarly second one uh, the frequency is 3 pi by 4 n is equal to 8 by 3m and n2 that is fundamental period is 8 so by definition the for the combination of the signals the fundamental period should be the lcm we can easily graphically verify that by plotting the two components that is e power j 2 pi by 3 n and e power j 3 pi by 4 n for the first one the values are all same at intervals of 3 and similarly for the second one the values are same for at intervals of 8 and then for the combined signal the values will be equal only at the uh, that is only at a value that is common to both the signals that is in this case it is 24 therefore 24 which is the lcm of both 3 and 8 is the fundamental period of the combined signal that is x of n thanks for watching